Hey there again. I'm going to show you how to make a card that could go along with your hearts that you're taking home or that you're giving to your mom. Um, or, you know, just the card or just the hearts might work out fine. So this is an example. My mom's name is Patty. And so I wrote her name down this way in some form of fancy lettering. And then I came up with something about my mom um, that started with that letter. When I went to write that, I left off the first letter and so that this letter is used in it, right? It's just kind of like a, it's almost like a poem, right? So P, I used practically perfect in every way. A, always looks beautiful. T, takes care of me. T, tells me she loves me. Y, you can always count on her. Love, Jenny. And then it's like a card. You could even write some more things on the back if you want to. You could do it on fancy paper. It doesn't have to be white. It could be big, small. You can make it like a poster. Um, so I'm going to show you some different ways to make some fancy letters so that you can see. And then you can try it yourself. I always suggest starting with pencil, and especially when you're on your final draft that you want to use, play around with maybe a piece of scratch paper for different lettering. But um, start with pencil, even when you write these out, write them with pencil and then go over them with a black pen and they'll show up nice. And then you go back and erase your pencil marks, okay? So one way you can do it, I'm just gonna show it to you with a P. You can make a block letter, right? Like I did and I, I have to gauge where um, the boxes would be. I make the outside shape first and then I make the inside like that. You could also, I'm going to actually show you with a Sharpie so it'll show up better. Um, I go like this. I make the outside shape, and then I make the hole that would be in the middle, right? Um, you also could make a P, like you could, with all your letters, you could make swirlies and make them curly. And just everywhere where a line ends, make a little swirl and a little curl, like that, okay? Another way is to start with your regular letter and then everywhere where there's an intersection of lines, put a spot. You could even do that with a colored spot. That ends up looking kind of cool, okay? So those are some ways you can make those letters big at the, beginnings, at the beginning of your parent's name. If you're not sure how to spell your mom's name, you might want to ask some other adult in your house if you have one or go look at your mail. It's probably written on there, right? Um, depending on the length of your mom's name, you might have uh, some space for decorating, right? And remember, your mom doesn't have to be the female person in your house if that doesn't exist for you. You might have, it might be your dad that is doing all your mom kind of things for you. And this could go to your dad or to your grandma or to your aunt, right? So you think about that. And this goes nicely along with a heart, right? And could even be kind of wrapped up neatly after you're done and tied with a ribbon or shoelace again. And that's that. See you later.